This is Dr. Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. Dr. Standard is a general surgery resident in a program that adheres to the current ACGME work hour policies. She has been following Mrs. Jones for a small bowel obstruction. Mrs. Jones's condition has not improved with medical management, and she will be undergoing surgery this evening. Dr. Standard has excellent rapport with Mrs. Jones and would like to stay to assist with the surgery. But under ACGME policies, she must hand off her case to the night float resident. These policies were created to minimize long resident shifts in an effort to reduce harm to patients. Do the policies affect patient outcomes or the resident's learning experience? To address these questions, Billy Mori and colleagues undertook the first trial, a national cluster randomized trial of 117 general surgery residency programs in the United States. Programs were randomized to follow either the current duty hour policies or to implement policies that allowed flexibility on maximum shift length and time off between shifts. Both groups had to observe an overall limit of no more than 80 work hours per week and had to follow all other ACGME requirements. The primary study outcome was postoperative death or serious complications in the patients. Flexible duty policies were not associated with a significant difference in that primary outcome. Residents with flexible hours did not report significantly greater dissatisfaction with the quality of their educational experience. They also didn't report any significant difference in overall well-being. Analyses of secondary resident outcomes revealed that residents with flexible hours were less likely to report dissatisfaction with continuity of care and were less likely to report that they left an operation or handed off active patient issues due to duty hours. However, residents with flexible hours were more likely to report dissatisfaction with the amount of time for rest. Mrs. Jones undergoes an uncomplicated surgery performed with the help of the night float resident who was able to see the reason for her obstructed bowel, a key learning experience. Dr. Standard returns in the morning feeling rested but sorry not to have been there for Mrs. Jones and disappointed that she missed this learning opportunity. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.